Right, this has got a blue screen of death, by the way. I, I should probably mention that. Let's just plug this in and just make sure it has actually got a blue screen of death before I go any further. If someone local had like a, a job in a repair shop, I'd take it, to be honest. And just give up doing repairs for myself. Yeah, blue screen of death. Alright. So it's just like... It's one of them, it's just too much stress. Now, this has been worked on before. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, Paul, but I don't know if I'm going to take on repairs, to be honest. I don't know if I want I don't know if I want the stress anymore. I think I've just had enough. Right, let's just put some pressure on this CPU. Yeah, CPU needs either a reflow or a reboot. Try a reflow first, if that don't fix it, reboot it. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a 1-2 to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs which start at just $120 per square metre. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pinned comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. Well, if anyone's got a repair shop in the in the hiring near me within 20 miles, I might take you up on a job offer. There was there was actually something I was thinking about like a couple of months ago. Um, well, about a month ago, I was thinking about because I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't, I haven't got the funding to do it, but I was thinking, thinking of maybe getting like, um, like an investor to start an actual shop and get someone working doing everything like admin stuff, and then me just being the, like the the technician, like the man behind the curtain sort of thing. All right, let's give this a reflow. I don't think I'd be a good teacher in terms of courses anyway, to be honest. Yeah, I mean if if like if someone actually approached me now with that with that offer, I think I'd take it. Just because it's less stress. Like I mean back then, I mean you bear in mind like two years ago when someone did actually offer that, I had like 30,000 subscribers on YouTube, I wasn't really known, and, like, it was like, I didn't have the stresses that I've got now, but I think the, I think the running the, the business side of it, now, is just far too stressful. So I think if I could get someone else to run the business side of it, I mean, they wouldn't even need to buy tools, I've got it all. I've got everything. Look, they run the business side of it, I do the repairs, they deal with all the, uh, all the back end stuff, and I'll just get on with actually repairing stuff. But I would actually, I would have to expect like a decent enough wage to be able to do it as well. And I'd need to still be able to record videos. And then just edit them on my own time.
But I would also still run my own parts supply thing as well, as like an extra income. I wouldn't give that up. So anyone who I did partner with would have to understand that. Well, I just don't. I just don't think I want to do the business side of it anymore. That's the bottom line. Leave the business side of it to someone who, who knows what they're doing, who can actually handle that side. That side of it. I've been thinking about it, so actually, and that's the thing. I've been thinking about it for a while, mate. See, I wouldn't even be looking for anyone to like, you know, go out and spend thousands on equipment and all that, all that kind of shit, because I've already got it. So I might actually approach a few places and see what they say. You know, places that places nearby that don't. Um, that don't currently do micro soldering and stuff, because I know, like, I, and I know this is going to sound like you know, like floating your own boat and all of that shit. But I know I'm a good technician. My problem is dealing with the rest of it. Like, I'm I'm not a good businessman. I think, um, like, if someone was to, you know, get a shop set up and then just have me on as staff. Or if, or if someone within like 20 miles has got a shop and they're looking for a technician. I, I think that's the only way forward for me is just to get a, a normal job as a technician. Do my YouTube videos as, as like the extra income and then that's it. Hey, normal blue screen of death. There we go. But then again, it's crashing by the look of it. Thank you, Festic. I appreciate that, mate. No, I almost. I I've, I've, I've genuinely don't like the business side of it. I never have, to be honest. I've never liked dealing with the business side of it. Like the the uh, the, the the thing is, obviously, you know, to, the problem for me has always been the fact that, like, for example, you know, I need I needed work coming in through YouTube to be able to make videos and I needed I needed the videos to get work sort of thing and it's just too much like it's too much having to worry about like getting working constantly and then you know putting out videos so I can get more work and all of that sort of stuff and it's like it really really does build up honestly it really does build up all right that's charging I think it might have been crashing because it's dead I need to leave that to charge I'm going to approach a few businesses and uh just try and get someone to take me on as a full-time technician because, yeah, I genuinely don't want to do the business side of it anymore. I've just had enough of it. I've had enough for a few months, which is why, well, it's one of the reasons I've been in such a, like a, a I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's why I've just had no enthusiasm to do anything because I just don't want to do it anymore. Okay, it is crashing. Um, it needs a reboot. All right. I, I genuinely think I've made my mind up on it as well. Like, I, I just don't think, just don't think it's for me anymore. Like, not the YouTube, the, the YouTube side of it, the content creation side of it. I absolutely love. I always have, and I always will. It's literally just the business side of it. So if I can find someone to do the business side of it you know whether they've already got a shop or whether they want to set up a new shop and just have me working there for them on a on a you know on a on a on a normal wage well, happily i'll do it
You're looking for a pimp, yeah. No, I do. I do. Leave up to my soul in that name. That's the problem. That's the problem. I, um, I just haven't got the energy to do to manage my time properly and stuff like that. Like, if I'm in a full-time job, I've always been one of those people that if I'm in a full-time job, I'm fine because I, I can. I know what I'm doing every day, and I know it's. You know, I just go to work, do what I'm doing, and that's it. But like when you're working for yourself it's a lot more difficult to manage time yeah but the bills have to get paid though WC that's a problem and when I'm the only one working as well Makes things a lot more difficult. Because that's the thing as well. It's like it's not just me that I have to that I have to think about when it comes to like income and stuff like that. Like it's the fact that I have to make sure that there's an entire house being kept. Cheers, Trip Bill. Thanks, mate. Trip Bill just resubscribed for seventeen months. Good to see you. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I think either. Either just um, just do YouTube or, or well, YouTube and Twitch or get someone to take me on as a technician and just let them deal with the business side of it. I'd travel 20, 30 miles a day to, if it was a guaranteed wage as well. It's not just that, it's dealing with that, like, it's not just dealing with the admin stuff, like, when it comes to, like, customers and stuff like that, you have so much more to deal with behind the scenes, like, you know, like, making sure that your um, accounts are up to date and all of that sort of stuff, like, it's, it's just an absolute fucking nightmare. I just don't think it's for me. It just took me too long to realise it as well, I think. I just think it's best left to someone who actually is actually able to do it. Because I'm definitely not. I was, but not anymore. <laughs> right, that looks good enough. Point fours, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Only problem is, I dropped all of these on the floor, so I'm having to literally pick them up off the floor. It's all good though. How's it going, Tony? No solar paste. Um, I'm not a fan of solar paste, to be honest. I'd rather use solar balls. You get a more uniform reball. Yeah. Better one. Said you done trusting, but you did it. Move low key, but I really know you with it. Why you not shalom when you really got them digits? I'm a sass, I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best, I'm a sass, I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. 
Look, how you get so good at being modest, girl, be honest. You said you done trusting these niggas, made yourself a promise. I hate to make you take it back. I've been getting paid for rap, ain't talking about the drums. When I tell you I can make it clap, had to make you wait for that. You intrigued with conversation. You be moving dolo, I'm intrigued and I'm in admiration. I can gas you up, but I don't think you need the validation. Still you looking good, natural, without no operation. Fuck my old bitch, tell you. Fuck your old too. Younger me, he wanted street stripes, but they wasn't blue. Now I'm banking on the sweet life when I'm next to you. Giving you the credit you deserve, cause it's overdue. You got better when you met me, I met it. You said you done trusting, but you did it. Move low key, but I really know you with it. Why you not shalom when you really got them digits? I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. Right, I'll fix these um, couple of knock capacitors when it comes to actually reflowing the chip on. Because if I heat it up now, it's going to end up messing all of the solder balls up underneath. So I'll deal with that in a minute. So I have to be really careful there not to squash down on the chip. I've got to be incredibly gentle. Right, let's have a look at that. See how that goes. It's cooled down now. Pretty work. Battery dead, of course it is. All right, let's charge it. Seems to be working though. Considering we get the Nintendo logo and then the charging logo, seems to be okay. 0.47 amps charging symbol. Yep, yeah, seems okay. Um, I'm going to put some screws in just to hold it together. It seems to be going okay. Okay, that's just turned charger off now it's fast charging boom yeah there we go good stuff that is what I'm talking about one successfully reballed Nintendo switch happy days right so this needs a clean on the outside but I'll get Sarah to do that because she got um glass cleaner and microfiber cloths in the house so she'll do that she'll do the cleaning on the outside for me it's got some uh looks like juice or something on the case here so we need a good clean right so charging 
we are fast charging that side and that side uh, leave that on charge volume buttons work power buttons work Got stick drift, just a little bit. Buttons work. Yeah, that one's off majorly. But I haven't got any to replace it with. Oh, wow. That is rough. Just for 18 months. It's been a minute. Glad to see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Schmidt. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, that one is way off. And that one is. They both need uh, replacement analogs, but I haven't got any. Try giving it a clean. Try giving them a clean with IPA, but I haven't got any uh, analogs to actually replace them with. And you see how worn out they are anyway. Sometimes just to clean with IPA is enough. You know, I'm growing me cheesy what's it kid fingers. Nah, it ain't going to be enough, is it? Definitely not. Probably have to pour a little bit into there. Let that work in. That's sort of better. And it's still up there, but it's it's actually moving freely now. Might be able to calibrate that. Thank you, Carlos. Good evening, mate. Yeah, it's way off. This is that one's better. It's dead centered now. Sometimes you can get away with just calibrating them. Right, so that one's. Okay, now let's try doing this one. That's better with a bit of IPA in it. It's moving more freely. Spanner, thank you, mate. Spanner fix just resubscribed for 12 months. Glad to see <laughs> you back, buddy. Can you stop hanging around outside my house now? It's getting weird with the crying. Can't make any promises, mate. Yeah, it's off centre, but it's it's moving freely again now with a bit of IPA in it. And a little bit more, and then I'll calibrate it to bring it back centre. It's actually come back to the centre, pretty much to the centre anyway. All right, so let's calibrate that. And there we go. Yeah, so a bit of a clean and then calibration usually fixes it. It's a lot better than it was. I can actually hear the crap grinding around inside the uh, analog, to be honest. It's a lot better. I'll see how it goes um, over the next day. Uh, I, doubt, I doubt this will get picked up tonight. So I'll see how it goes and uh, 
Hopefully it stays calibrated. Stay to that screen. I think I need to wash my hands now. Just need a good clean though. Really good clean. <laughs> Road trip junkie. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, mate. My charger needs replacing. You legend, Cyril. Thank you, mate. Well, I think this um, game card module might be knackered. I don't know if I've got another one. Cheers, Kev. You're a legend, mate. Thank you. That's Magpie Warrior, Polly. Myro Redgrave, XOXO, Marto, and Trido. I've gifted a sub by Kev. Thank you, mate. There we go. Yeah. Cool. It's reading the game. It's working. Everything's fine. No issues. Other than absolutely groy, mate. Ah, oh, so we can clean it. I'm sure you won't mind. Uh, there we go. CPU reboot. Job done. <laughs> Cheers, Kev. Your missus is going to kill you. Thank you, mate. Oscar, Reverse Don, I am Caden, Brain Sheep, Miss Roberts. Got gifted a sub. Thank you. Cheers, Kev. Appreciate you, mate. Right. All right. Shall now leave this charging. I don't need this for the rest of the night, so Sarah can keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'll leave it charging. It's fast charging anyway, so. There you go. Only at 12 volts, because this is only a 12 volt CPU, uh, 12 volt power bank, but it works.